Hi, this is Aaron Booker with Varvid.com. I'm here today with Stephen Van Rokel from the Windows Essential Server Solutions Group at Microsoft. And uh, we're really excited about uh, the products that Microsoft's bringing us. Stephen, can you tell me a little bit about your role at Microsoft and how you interact with partners and the new solutions that are coming from Microsoft? Sure. Well, our, our solutions are really about taking server technology at Microsoft and really bringing that technology together to really meet the needs of specific customer segments. Uh, we have products for the for multi-PC broadband connected homes uh, called Windows so Home Server. We have a small business product, small business server, and a new product that's coming out this year called Essential Business Server built for mid-market companies, companies up to you know, 300 or so PCs, maybe 600 to 1,000 uh, employees. Oh, outstanding. Well, I know that uh, I've spent quite a bit of time with Small Business Server. That's what brought me into this environment. And we're starting to really get excited about the opportunity to grow out of our small business roots into Essential Server. Are you hearing that from a lot of other partners too? Very much so. This is a, you know, mid-market represents an amazing opportunity for lots of partners out there in that, in that we have, uh, you know, the, this customer segment has been underserved for so long. They pay more than any other customer, meaning they aren't small enough to get as, get the uh, small business server pricing or small business pricing. They aren't large enough to get the volume discounts of the enterprise, um, so they pay more. They tend to adopt technology a little bit slower, I think partly because of that and also partly because of technology has just been too uh, too out there. I mean, the mid-market is really all about, uh, you know, kind of that classic inch, inch deep, mile wide sort of person in IT that handles everything. You know, they're very resource constrained from a, from a, uh, from an IT technology, IT budget, everything else. And so supplementing, you know, great partner opportunity to come in and sell to that segment plus a great product for them to rally behind is, is really what uh, EBS essentially business servers all about. Thanks very much. That's a great overview. I think that really helps partners understand their opportunity in this marketplace. Um, another question I've got for you is just what do you find um, uh, are some of the challenges of taking these different outstanding technologies from Microsoft and synthesizing and bringing them together in a single product and then delivering them that those to the partner community? I mean, SBS has so many amazing technologies in it, especially as we move forward to SBS 2008 and EBS 2008. Yeah, the, the complexity really comes in the fact that that we're we want to really create a general purpose uh, operating environment, a suite of app, bring the suite of applications together, but meet the broadest set of needs for all the customers. I mean, a great example of this is we we actually early in the development of both SBS 2008 and EBS 2008 took all the best practices guidance. Uh, that are is provided to customers and, and, and for Windows Server, Exchange Server, SharePoint, you know, all the security technologies, et cetera, and brought all this together and printed them out just to see what is our customer what would our customer have to face if they tried to lay this stuff down onto a new piece of hardware. And that, that's about six hundred pages of guidance. And so we take all that guidance and all that best practices and really kind of compartmentalize it into software. And so when you lay that that software down, you know that it's at the end of the day set up to best practices and, and really going to do what you need it to do. And, and most importantly, I think really give you the confidence that it's set up that way. You know, oftentimes when you set up applications, set up completes, but you're never really sure, did I plug all the holes? Is, is it really set up the way it needs to be? And so uh, these applications are really are really all about best practices and, and compartmentalizing that. And that really is where, our, where our, a lot of our work happens, is, is, is taking those out in that way. So. That's outstanding. I, um, I know from personal experience, actually, that you guys are investing a huge amount into making sure that these products are ready to go, even as 1.0 versions. What are some of the things that you're doing to bring these products fully baked to the marketplace? Well, we, um, we have, uh, for one, lots of trial versions out there. We, we shipped a, a release candidate, or RC, a zero version about a month ago uh, at the, the show here at the Worldwide Partner Conference. And in the next week or so, you're going to see RC1 versions. Um, and those are readily downloadable by people to really try them out and, and, uh, and, and, and get their hands on them. Uh, I encourage partners to go to multiplyyourpower.com to uh, not only get all the marketing information, but also get instructions on how to download those trial versions and, and try the software out and really get your arms around it and most importantly give us feedback on those and, and let us know what's uh, what's going on there uh, we've also developed very comprehensive training that we're launching here at the show and and lots of other uh, other things to really make these, these products land well uh, with our with our customers and our partners the what I'm actually thinking about is the tap and because we, you've got 
servers that are actually out there in real world production environments representing customers from small to large. And we are lucky enough, we're honored to be in the TAP. We're having a great time with our, our client, the Bellingham Chamber of Commerce is, just loves SBS, it loves the experience they're having with 2008, with SharePoint 3.0 and Exchange 2007. Are those kinds of things have really transformed our relationship with Microsoft and I think are really should help partners feel confident that when the product ships, it's ready. They really are making sure that any bugs are addressed ahead of time and that great ideas can be incorporated in the product. We really appreciate it. We took a slightly different approach with these products, I think, than, than maybe historically you'd seen just with SBS in that um, early on in the development, I, I was employee number one on, on Essential Business Server, and before we had hired a single developer to write a single line of code, we formed a 25-person customer advisory board and a about a 15-member uh, uh, partner advisory council that we called it, and and really had them. You know, I, w I gave the, those groups the charter that they were going to become software design engineers and help me to really rethink the way we, we we do these products. And and it started with that. It started then with them helping us hi really scope out what should what are the developers we should be hiring kind of the talents what should we bring through to really do the best work with these uh, with these products and then it really ends with you know taking these public versions out and then very deeply engaging with our uh, technical adoption partners in the in the tap program to uh, to really understand the usage and and uh, and the and the how this uh, how this technology can be put into a production environment and and, uh, and learn from that most importantly so well I have to say it's pretty amazing We've been running SBS 2008 since December. I think we were the first or second TAP site. And that server has never been rebooted. It's never crashed. It's never had any problems at all. The only time we shut that server down was to install new software. So it really speaks to the quality of the product. Oh, Outstanding. I, I also run, uh, I run the RC0 version of SBS 2008 at my house. And yeah. I'm the IT administrator for my wife. So <laughs> I have probably a harder job than you do than the, the Chamber of Commerce uh, mail goes down. You know. <laughs> well, I have the IT director in our home, too. And believe me, if our mail's not functional, I know very, very quickly. <laughs> Spam too. Boy, I really know that well. Well, yes. thanks so much. I... Thanks so much. I really appreciate uh, your time and, and taking this time to talk with us. Is there anything you'd like to recommend to partners, uh, one thing that they should really pay attention to and look at in the coming uh, week with here at the show. Well, we're uh, we're announcing here at the show that we're launching the products at, uh, November twelfth. Uh, it will be the general avail broad general availability. We're actually going to RTM the products well before that. This event at the partner conference is our partner launch, um, and uh, and really what that means is between now and November twelfth, when we're widely available, and that's worldwide languages, all the channels, etc. You know, the time between now and then is really the time to get ready. So visit multiplyyourpower.com to get more information on the products, to download uh, trial versions, to understand how, where to get training and, and different things like that. And then between now and, and November 12th, you'll start to see the product show up in certain channels. System Builder will be one of the first and you'll see it in others. And then in, on the 12th of November is when we'll start to make some noise and we encourage partners to uh, actually help us launch the products and, and take those to uh, their customers in, at that time as well. So. Well, thank you so much, Stephen. This is uh, Aaron Booker from Varvid.com. Thanks again. Thank you, Aaron.